What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be covering some squat tips, some benching tips, as well as some accessory work that I do on this training day. So stay tuned and let's get into it. What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den. In this video, we're gonna be covering day two of my training, where I work up to a heavy set of four on the squat, and then I go into the bench press, and then just kinda of do a little bit of accessory work. Uh, but I wanna coach you guys through some tips and tricks with the squat, the bench, and my thoughts on accessory. Before we dive into the training footage, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell somewhere around here. That means a lot to me. So without further ado, let's dive on in to the training vlog. All right, guys, so welcome to the training commentary where we're gonna go over my squat session. I also do some incline bench and then just maybe my take on accessory movements. So for the squat, I warm up just like I do with the deadlift from the previous video. Start with the barbell, working my way up to a heavier set of four for about eight to nine on the RPE scale. And primarily I squat low bar. However, I've been having a lot of elbow tendonitis uh, just from overuse and doing a lot of jujitsu, working a lot of grips, and as well as just low bar tends to irritate the elbows a little bit. So this is my first session back doing low bar. And usually most people will be able to squat about anywhere from five to 15% more, I would say, with a low bar squat, just the way the leverages work. Uh, so here's me kind of climbing up. I wanted to give you guys some different angles uh, once I get into my working sets, uh, just trying to make sure that I was hitting depth, which depth never seems to be uh, an issue with me, but sometimes in the video it's hard to tell. And uh, my legs, as you guys know, are pretty big, so I don't want to ever have a question of whether or not I got depth or not. Uh, so right now we're at 405, put my belt on, I use a soft belt and a Pioneer belt, because a lot of people ask, what are the belts that I use? And those are the two. And then as you can see, we're getting a little bit more serious here, I'm taking more time with my setup making sure I get that big belly breath, hitting depth and uh, driving straight up out of the hole. Try to keep uh, my gaze slightly lower uh, when I low bar squat, just to maintain a neutral uh, spine position and keep a good shelf for the barbell. Now here's 495, and I would say this is my first uh, working set at around a seven-ish. Uh, so I'll hit four here which is looking pretty good. Uh, there's maybe a little bit uh, forward barbell roll, which you can see if you watch the end of the collar, it kind of dips forward a little bit. So just something I gotta be paying attention more and keeping the bar nice and tight on my back. Put out a lot of videos in the past uh, about squatting, so I'll link that above for you guys to watch any of the tips I've put out. Here's 525, this is the heaviest I've squatted in uh, a while, which felt good to at least put some numbers back up. My max is 655 right now and my squat's taken a hit for whatever reason. All my other lifts have felt really good, but my squat just kind of dwindled a little, so I'm just trying to get it back to where it was. Uh, and as you can see, depth is pretty good with this. I wanted to make sure that there were no questions, uh, especially for you guys, that I was hitting depth with some heavier weight. Um, but once again, really trying to keep that bar tight on my back. That's why I like using a power bar. There's not a lot of whip in it, so it's just a, a stiff bar to use. And this is my top set, I believe, at uh, 545. So just mentally visualizing completing the lift, getting all the reps in. I think I remember this, maybe this on rack was a little unsteady. Uh, but typically I take about three steps, and then the last step, if I have to adjust my foot at all, I will. Yeah, right there, I took an extra stutter step, which I normally never do, which just means uh, the weight kind of swung a little bit. Um, but this is my top set of four. And then after this, I'll do two back offs. So I'll take off about 10% and I'll do uh, two back offs of four sets. And the back offs are good just to get the volume in and dial in the technique. So usually after my top set, I'll say, all right, well, you know, what could I do better on or what do I need to work on? And then I'll try to dial in uh, whatever issues I had with the back offs. But that's. Total volume, you know, about 20 reps. And I'm actually supposed to be heading out to uh, Florida to do a collaboration with Steffi Cohen in the beginning of September. So I'm looking to peak for that just in case we end up doing anything crazy or any max off. 
uh, events, you know, at her gym. But this is going to fade into uh, me talking to some of the members and watching them lift, and then we'll pick up back after that. So I'm here with Coach Matt, who just squats. Coach Matt, where are you working on today? Uh, I got some squats today, nice and sore, so yeah. not too good today, but we're doing it. So Matt used to be a track star, insert tr track picture here. Um, so tell us about your track days, Matt. Yeah, um, used to be all endurance before I ever got into strength training. So I'm sitting at 200 pounds now, and when I was running, I was 128 pounds. <laughs> Uh, what was your uh, fastest mile time? Fastest mile is 448. 448? What do you think you could run it now and be in the way you are now? I'd be happy with seven minutes yeah. at uh, 70 pounds heavier, yeah. yeah. I wonder, <laughs> I'm like 6'2", 240. I wonder what I could run a mile in. Um, which, so like, what do you think like a strong man, average strong man time would be for a mile if the strong man community were to run a mile? If they were to run, i thinking like middleweight's probably be in that like eight-ish minute. Someone like Joe, probably up towards the towards the nines, I think. Yeah, I'd be happy with like an eight or nine minute mile right now if I were to go run it. But uh, we got on tap. Anything coming up next, sir? Um, got bench to finish out, and yeah, that's about that's about it. Any comps? Comps doing Beast of Bloomsburg, which is a nice chill comp. Uh, got a little uh, home rivalry going on right now. A lot of our members from the gym are doing it. <laughs> talking smack. Yeah, talking smack. A lot of smack talk right and now. Then, uh, what's your YouTube? Channel, YouTube is Matt Malloy and not the flute player Matt Malloy. I've been watching a lot of flute players <laughs> and there is a Matt Malloy flute player. But thanks Matt. Yeah. All right guys, so make sure you guys go and follow uh, Coach Matt. Uh, and we were kind of foreshadowing to an awful YouTube video idea of how fast Joe can run a mile being a strongman. And uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. So in the comment selection, or section, section, <laughs> in the comment section, put down below uh, how fast you think I can run a mile? 6'2", 240 pounds, being a national uh, champion strongman. So moving forward, uh, we got the incline bench. Haven't done the incline bench in a while, but I wanted to put this in my block because I always find that the incline bench helps me with my overhead and just getting past that sticky point of off my shoulders whenever I do a, a strict press or any sort of press. So if you guys are having trouble with getting stuck off your shoulders, the incline bench press is going to be something that I find will help you uh, and also carry over to your overhead. So being a strong man, we do a lot of overhead pressing. We rarely ever bench, so I'm trying to find variations that closely will mimic what will help me. And uh, my second working set here is at 275. Feeling pretty good. Uh, I was surprised that you know I could press this much without having done this in a while, um, but they seem smooth. And I was doing uh, five reps at uh, seven, eight, and nine and then repeating my first set at seven for two sets of five. Here's my top set at a 285, which was moving pretty well. Have Matt there as my trusty spotter, just in case something bad happens. However, I don't know how much someone can actually spot you with that much, uh, you know, odd positioning, but needless to say, if he's there, it just makes me feel better. So here are my back offs, and then uh, I did this for two sets, and after this, my accessory work was a dumbbell push press, and then dips for about four rounds of eight push presses and then about eight to 10 dips with just a little bit of resistance. Uh, conditioning for this day was actually jujitsu, 
Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that, but that's kind of the run of the rundown of uh, the second day of training for me. So we're halfway through this training series, and I'll get the next two days out for you guys, and then we'll release the programming block for you to give a whirl. And I'm excited for you guys to to give me feedback on how it works for you. Um, but we're gonna wrap on over to closing out this video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video. I really appreciate it, and hopefully you enjoy these contents. So later. So hopefully you guys found some value in that video and you can take some of the tips or tricks that I've talked about with the squat, the bench, or accessory work and add them into your training. Uh, we have two more videos in this installment coming out and then I will release the block of programming that you can try. But until then, what I ask you guys to do is head over to Facebook and join the Iron Lions Facebook group. Very simple, the Iron Lions. Uh, it's just a community of like-minded individuals who are into strength training, whether it's powerlifting, general training conditioning, strongman, Olympic lifting, uh, but we kind of all come together in a hub in a community where we do training talk, we put out articles, we do form checks, all of that awesome stuff for free, and it's just a great community that you want to be involved in. So go head over to there in the meantime, uh, but until then guys, be a lean, mean, strength machine, and I'll catch up with you next video. Peace!